My mom made pasta, and she made this really awesome pasta sauce. I asked for more pasta, but my mom told me I couldn't have any more pasta because I had already eaten pasta, and she didn't want me to eat any more pasta because that's a lot of food, so I was like, fine, can I just have more sauce? And she's like, you just want sauce? And I was like, yeah. So I went to go heat myself up just some pasta sauce when, um... Things took a turn for the worse. Put the sauce in the microwave and I like, if you press it, like you press like the start once, it goes in 30 seconds, and you press it again, it's like a minute. I pressed it three times because I was just gonna be like standing there anyway, so I was like, well, no matter. And then I all of a sudden remembered like, whoa, we have juice boxes. So like I ran into the garage, cause that's where we keep the juice boxes, and I ran and got a juice box. So I run in with my juice box, and then I put my juice box on the table. I run back to go get my sauce in the microwave because it was beeping, so that means I left it in there for like two minutes. And I have a really good microwave, so it's hot. And then I have the bowl, and I don't know what happened, but I somehow managed to like flip the bowl on my arm. So not only did I spill the pasta sauce all over the floor and on my arm, but I burnt myself. And I had a burn for a really long time, and like, I was wearing short sleeves that week, and a bunch of people kept asking me, like, hey, like, what happened to your arm? And it was so embarrassing, because, like, I don't really care. Like, I could have made up a story, but I'm not one to lie. So, I just, like, had to tell everyone that I spilled spaghetti sauce all over my arm. And they're like, oh, you spilled spaghetti? And I'm like, no. Just the sauce. <laughs> Another story that has to do with food, um, food's a very common theme in my life, was one time at lunch, it was 80s day in spirit week in fourth grade, and, um, I was like making my way to the lunch table when um, there was this really rude people at the table and like they dropped a piece of pineapple and I didn't know and I was walking and I slipped on the piece of pineapple and like banana peel flipped and fell and everyone like in the cafeteria saw and they laughed at me and I'm in eighth grade now so it was four years ago and people still come up to me and like hey do you remember and I'm like yes I remember not my proudest moment but I looked hella good that day another time which is another one of my iconic stories where like the entire school was involved because like a newsletter was no it's just my class a lot of people were involved because you know things spread fast um I was not popular but um when you do sh stuff like this like you know word gets around it was picture day and you know how they give out those like really awesome combs I really wanted a comb I'm um, maybe thinking like why did I want a comb because it looked like one of those hairdresser combs that they used to cut hair and I loved to cut hair I would cut like like doll hair all the time so like I was just like I'm gonna cut my doll hair and it's gonna be like professional and I was really excited about it and that's just the reason I remember for wanting the comb really bad I could have just wanted a comb but like I don't know. Luckily I did this after I took my picture, but it was like last, like it was towards the end of the day. And um, it was like English class, like not like it mattered because we didn't really switch classes, but it was like the last point of the day. And um, we're sitting there and like we're like twisting, we're like brushing our hair and um, all of a sudden like she, one of my friends, like she like twisted and she like put it in her hair. She's like hee hee And then I did the same thing, except I freaking tornado wrapped it and like, like I don't even know what I did, but it was like knotted like I it was so in there like it was like it wasn't like mm, it was like and I'm just like <laughs> I'm trying to get it out <laughs> and like me and my friend are laughing we're like ah and I can't get it out and I had to tell my teacher and she's like um and I went to the bathroom and like of course since it was like the end of the day Literally the entire fifth grade was in there, and all the girls were like, uh, uh, like, and one girl that I hate it. I don't know if I can say that in this video. She was like, you know you're gonna have to cut that out, right? And I was like, <sighs> it was a huge chunk of my hair. I went back to class, and the teacher thought it was funny, which was good. So she was like laughing, and she was trying to help me, and I just thought it was funny. Like, I wasn't like too concerned. I was like, well, I don't have to cut it out yet, so I was more concerned. I'm like trying to get it out before I had to cut it and um so she's like helping me get it out and um thing leads to another we have an entire freaking line of my class behind me trying to get it out like kid after kid is like behind me trying to get a comb out and she sent an email to my mom 
like t explaining to her that she didn't know what happened with the comb and it was just so funny and like we ended up being able to get it out like without having to cut my hair but there was also an old lady in my tree house one time that's a fun story, but that's a story for a different time. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more story... Th stories... Um, make sure you let me know, because I have a lot more, and... Oh my god, I have something right. I have a lot more. And I will share them with you. For sure. Thank you guys so much for six subscribers again. I cannot thank you enough. Yeah, um, so I don't really do outros, but, um... I was thinking maybe...